the Chinese people are taking a stand against their communist, COVID-obsessed, freedom-sucking government, which is leaving American liberals really conflicted because while they claim to be social justice warriors, they also have a sick affinity for tyranny and COVID control. It's time for Final Thoughts. It took damn near three years, but the Chinese people, or at least the brave ones, are finally taking a stand against the communist tyrants and their zero COVID policy. For nearly three years, these people have lived like prisoners of war on house arrest with their communist government holding COVID over their heads like it was the people and not the corrupt government itself that created the virus. But oddly, American Democrats and American mainstream media controlled by Democrats just can't really wrap their minds around letting COVID and COVID control go. Just yesterday, an article in NPR lamented the tough choice that Chinese Communist Party must make, keep its people, its subjects and oppressees rather, under perpetual lockdown and continue to strip them of their basic human rights and freedoms for a virus that is never going to be eradicated or let them be free to live, work and move on like human freaking beings yeah, NPR, tough choice. I feel bad for the Chinese Communist Party, too. What a nail biter. You've got to be freaking kidding me. These liberals are really something. They will advocate up, down, right, left, and sideways for the burning, looting, and destruction of American cities in the name of career thug St. George Floyd and BLM and call it necessary and justice. But when the truly oppressed people of communist China rise up for real equality, freedom, and a flippin' shred of basic self-determination, American liberals just can't quite decide if that's too risky, too far. Unbelievable. This is how in love and addicted they are to their precious and beloved COVID fear porn. It's sick, it's twisted, it's the disease of liberalism 101, and it's a sickness that kills far more dreams, ambitions, and futures than COVID ever has or ever will. So screw the Chinese Communist Party and screw anyone who believes it's in the people's best interest to be locked in their homes for weeks, months, years on end. And those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.